So finally I've got round to this video about Formide and how to upload it to a web page and also how to get it working because I've had so many questions, emails and such like of how to, to use this program. Anyway, uh, this should really present no problems about actually using a Formide program to get your form how you want and how, how to style and everything. You've probably spray heard and tested and not found any problems and uh, anyway, but save HTML and we're just going to put find me into the desktop uh, so it's easy to see etc and we're just going to knock these down there this is the web page that i want that to go in which is going to be it's called find me html at the moment but anyway let's find these so here's the files on the desktop the find me files uh which is a uh just distributed out this here i think this one will be the uh, php we just I'll just go into the desktop on there and find that file. So what we're just going to have to do there is we're just going to get a little bit of code from this. Um, so let's find me. I'm not sure which one's PHP, but we'll try this one. Yes, this is the PHP. So what we're going to do here is, as you see there at the top, find me PHP. So this is the one that I said that it's going to go into. So we're going to put it in this in this part here, somewhere around there. Um, these are all CSS files about your menu, etc. Uh, it's a website that I've already got on. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, the find my uh, PHP is just we're going to just go like that. Take this bit at the top. And uh, before you doc type, so we just copy that, go to the find me HTML, just go up there, find at the top where the, the doc type is. So hope you can see that okay. And paste that. Okay. So um I'm just I might have put that in the wrong place there. But it's uh it seems to be Seems to be okay there. Um, anyway, and then we want our form wide with it, which is just this here, just to tell it that. So what we're going to do with that is form wide, and we're going to copy that, and we're going to put it in Find Me HTML, and find a place where you want that to go. So here's mine, uh, which I've got st uh, st start form wide. The stuff for my so just put pop that in so which is your which is just pasted in and now what we're going to do is i'm just going to knock this down and the find uh find me php which is this here is i'm just going to delete that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this now find me dot php so i'll just say that again this is going to be the find me dot php file from now php okay and that'll go on the desktop save if you try and open this uh now i won't do it because my server's not on and you probably don't have a server um on your on your desktop either so anyway we're going to just go on filezilla um you can use whatever you want um i've already um unlocked my web uh, web address so what i'm going to do is just open that and there's the directory listed successful. Go into this uh, public HTML business and find um, find the files that is find me, which is down here. Let's let's just have a mosey down here. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, yeah, right. Okay. So the I've just seen it then. It's it's gone. Okay. So you can call yours wherever you want. Um, you can call uh, find me files there's one so I'm just going to put that one and we're just going to copy that and find me.html um, I'm looking for now and also find me PHP so there's your PHP and your HTML together and we're just going to drag these we're just going to drag these over here and pop them into our filezilla and our website so basically what we're doing is 
these here, these files here, this one here is an HTML, this one. This one's the PHP, and these files, don't touch them. And as you see how the filezilla is going, and directly list and successful. So, right, this is offline. So I just go online, and this one's called, this is a website of mine, and it's called nbphotography.me.uk. So we're just going to put findme.php. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So there you go. There's our form. Contact me, input, and all the rest of it. And I'm just going to refresh that because Google Chrome can be right old pain. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out to see if this actually works now. So I'm just gonna put in whatever you want, email, and I'm just put my email in there. The text area you can see whatever you want, and then submit. So what we're supposed to get if we say submit, if submit and it's and it doesn't do anything, then the, then it's failed. If it says submit. And then it says, thank you for filling out my form or whatever it says, then it's worked. So just find out, thanks for filling out your, my form. So that's worked. So um, basically what you're doing is you, is you this filezilla, this is what I use. I think it's the best, um, but it's not the only one. There's loads of them. Uh, so you, all you're doing is you're uploading all these. So for example, you have a, you just have your contact, you can call it contact. It's, I haven't called it contact because I've already got one on there that's live. Um, so I'll put find me, which is live as well now. Um, but the, it all, all you're doing really is you just put in contact. If it's a one page thing, you call it index.php. Don't say index.html because it won't work. You have to call it PHP, but you have to have this file, the HTML. This is the PHP, but you have to have this uh, HTML document because the HTML document has all the the um, the files that you the the format that you put in. So that's basically the both very important. All these files you have to upload. Um, it, you always have to call the one that you, you're trying to get the form from a PHP. And that is the, the key to this program. So I hope you find something uh, of use there. If you have any questions, always get back to us. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.